Hello everybody, welcome to another 3D Thursday. I'm Noah and today we're taking a look at 3D printing build plates. Printing services like glass and acrylic are the most common amongst 3D printers, but today we're taking a look at a very special printing build plate. One that actually makes it easy to remove prints and eliminates the use of tape, hairspray, glue stick, and other messy substances. And it's also so strong that it can flex. The Print and Z plate is a neat alternative and a great add-on to most 3D printers. This flexible build plate is made out of a unique fiberglass substrate, giving it the ability to bend without deforming, making it really easy to remove prints. This plate works with PLA, ABS, and NinjaFlex. It can be safely heated to about 100 C, and it's extremely strong and far less likely to break than glass. The texture on the surface is really similar to Blue Painter's Tape and gives a rather leathery look to printed parts. It also features double-sided action so you can print on both sides. The Print and Z plate comes in many different shapes and sizes. Here we have one for the Lulzbot Taz 4, rather large, and the Printerbot Simple Metal. You can of course get these at the shop at adafruit.com and if you're interested in other custom sizes, be sure to check out the link in the description below. This plate was designed to sit on top of the glass plate of the Lulzbot Taz 4. And installation is rather easy and straightforward as the platform is designed to be adjusted by loosening and tightening the screws on the build plate. But we also of course recommend adding a couple of binder clips to the sides just to give it more security and a bit more hold. Right Adabot? Adjusting the leveling screws on the build plate requires a bit of tweaking, but it's a lot easier with the leveling script. You can run it by selecting the option in the menu on the Taz 4's control panel. For the Printerbot Simple Metal, binder clips keep it secured to the metal platform, but notice this fashionably colored surface. This tint of pink color is actually copper material that allows the Printerbot's Z-Probe distance sensor to detect the surface of the build plate. This special edition plate is optimized for printers that use auto sensor leveling to adjust its platform. So print removal is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is bend it just enough so that you can pop off your prints. And it really does save you the hassle and risk of damaging your prints or even yourself. But if you do, however, get a little bit too close and get messy, you'll be happy to know that it's okay to use solvents like acetone to remove any hard to remove material. And that's it. So what did you think about the Print and Z plate? Why not let me know in the comments below? Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you found this video to be informative, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more 3D printed videos from Adafruit.